Hey guys, it's Auspicious Aussie here, and I'm just wanting to welcome all you guys to my newest Let's Play series. Hopefully this one will be more successful than my Minecraft. Um, this uh, Football Manager 13, I uh, just got it the other day, um, and decided I wanted to do a Let's Play because it's such a time-consuming game for me. I play it religiously, and... I thought, why not make a a series of it? So, um, yeah. Uh, as you can see, I chose Sydney FC because it's an Australian team and I'm playing in the Australian League. thought it was fitting seeing as I am Australian. Um, Sydney FC because they're my local team and um, I'm a season ticket holder. So I go to every home game. And, yeah, let's have a little little look at the history of Sydney FC, shall we? Um, jump straight into information. And, of course, founded in 2004 when the Hyundai A-League was uh, brought in after the NSL went defunct. Um, Sydney are called the Sky Blues. And, uh, of course, there is now the Sydney Derby against Western Sydney Wanderers. Very, very interesting. And I was actually at the the game at Allianz Stadium in the Cove, which is the um, Sydney FC's main supporters group. Um, way over my budget at the moment because of signing uh, because of people like Alessandro Del Piero, who's earning 25k a week, and Brett Emerton who is earning 19k a week. Um, but these two players are called the marquee players. If you don't understand how the A-League works, um, you get one Australian marquee, and you get one international marquee, or you can have two Australian marquees. So yeah, Alessandro is obviously my international, and Brett Emerton is obviously uh, my Australian. So that's why they can be registered and not count to the budget, otherwise... Um, the um, salary, sorry, the salary cap. Um, facilities, got the um, Allianz Stadium, of course. Um, 44,000, 44,000 um, theatre. Um, good uh, training facilities, basic youth facilities, good junior coaching, average youth recruitment. So a couple of those need to improve. Um, Transfers, it's all my transfers. I only brought in two players, and that was Gareth Edds as a midfield uh, rotation replacement if I get any injuries or players are fatigued. Um, he also became a youth coach, uh, play youth coach, so that was excellent. He's a decent youth coach, in fact. And then I signed Liverpool's Brad Jones on a free transfer. For some reason, they released him, and about a month later, I signed him on 2.6k a week, which is cheap as anything. Of course, no players left. Um, I didn't really want to change the squad too much, so I didn't. And, um, yeah, get into the preseason. Versus the youth, I wanted to check out a few youths um, in Haggy Glogor and Peter Triantis. And, um, yeah, of course, we won 2 0. Definitely expected. Uh, Yaro Yao, Yaro Yao, sorry, with the goal uh, and one for Paul Reid. Um, we then versed Adelaide City, beat them 2-1, with them taking the lead first in the second minute, which had me me put my head down and <laughs> it wasn't for another five minutes later that it came back up. Then versed South Coast Wolves, Brett Emerson with the only goal there. And Fabio getting a red card, not to mention Alessandro Del Piero getting injured in the 90th minute. And uh, that injury, um, I think it lasts for five weeks. So he essentially missed the whole pro season and he only came back four days ago. Which means for today's game, he will be incredibly, well, not incredibly fatigued, but just fatigued in general. Uh, we've noticed Manly United beat them convincingly 4 1, which is how we should be beating all these teams. 
Uh, Petrados with a brace, man of the match as well. Bushtard, uh, goal for set piece. And brought Mitch Malia up from the youth. He's a right winger. And he impressed. And he's got a goal um, for me. For my uh, faith in him. We then versus Marconi, who are fairly well known in, a, oh, in, in New South Wales, where I live. Um, Love Reckon and Tonus with the girls. And Tonus, man of the match. Uh, and then the last game of preseason, we versus Blacktown City. Uh, Love Reckon with a brace. And of course, Malia getting another one again. Fabio being injured this time. And um, Love Reckon's uh, 80 minute penalty right there was absolutely shocking. And I don't know how any goalkeeper in the world couldn't have saved that. But their goalkeeper obviously didn't. And he got a nice 5.8 match rating. And that leaves us today with Wellington Phoenix in the first game of the season, away at Westpac Stadium in New Zealand. So um, I think we should get to it. And here we are at the uh, tactics page, getting ready for today's game. Here's my lineup. And um, of course, in goals, we have Brad Jones, former Liverpool goalkeeper, right back, Brett Emerson former Blackburn player, and uh, my Australian marquee. Next team in centre defence, we have Sebastian Ryle and Pascal Boschart. Left back, we have Fabio. In the centre of midfield, we have McFlynn as a ball winner, and Reed. Uh, in front of them two, just behind the striker, we have Petratos playing as a Trocusta. And out wide, we have Mitch Malia and Alessandro Del Piero, uh, playing as an inside forward. Up front today we are playing Kruno Lovrek as all our other strikers are out injured. And um, yeah, so we have no strikers on the bench. The bench today consists of Nenjedovic, uh, Griffiths, Abbas and Eds. So let's get to it. Uh, a few jersey numbers here. Playing the same formation as us. Um, couple of good, decent players in there, and Danny Sanchez, and of course, Phil Eiffel, who you should know, um, is the um, former Sheffield United uh, player. Let's get to the uh, team talk today. Um, uh, good luck out there today. Didn't do anything, that's to be expected. And the game is underway with a pointless highlight in Ryle smashing the ball for a goal kick. That I do not understand. That is a little bit weird. Of course, Fabio has some problems with the uh, language barrier today because he's Brazilian. And Mick Flynn will win the ball. Lovrec. Back to Reed. Out to wide to Del Piero. He will lay it back. No, he will put it forward. What a ball to Reed! Oh, and just misses. Just misses the far post. Reed, the 33-year-old, to be expected, as he is more of a uh, deeper line player. And Wanderer is a beating Central Coast right now. That's surprising. Mark Paston pumps it long. Danny Sanchez to Musket. To Hysogens. Back to Sigmund. Sigmund. To Sanchez, to Musket. Plays it forward to Sneaker. Sneaker to Hysogyms. Hysogyms will try it across. And he gets it in. I feel back post unmarked. And that is an easy goal for Phil Eiffel. That's horrible defending there by Sydney FC. And they should be ashamed. And we have dropped down to ninth position. Uh, I think we need to try and retain some possession. Headed it. Cleared by uh, Alessandro Del Piero. Back to Lockhead. He'll play it forward. And Sigmund plays it all the way back to the goalkeeper, Mark Passman. <sighs> Risky ball there. Musket. To Hysogens. To Lockhead out wide. And he beats. Oh, no, he doesn't. Emerton comes back with a magnificent tackle. They've got an overlap, Lockhead. He'll try to cross. 
gets it in. Uh, and Sneaker heads it in. Horrible. I oh, know. Oh, disallowed. Foul by Sneaker. There we go. Needed that. Del Piero gives the ball away. Shocking. Shocking play. I feels on the ball again. He's been tearing us up. Fabio is a horrible defender. I feel Eiffel. Oh my god, I thought that was in. We are absolutely getting dominated at the moment. And that's the end of that half. Um, I'm going to go aggressive. Show me something in the second half. That's what I say. Looking fired up. Come on, boys. Let's do this. And the pointless highlight gets underway. And Hyper Gems kicks it forward, but that should be a goal kick, and it is. Alright. We have not had the ball. Uh. And that is another goal, 2 0. And you can. Uh, we are sitting in last position now. Can we salvage anything from this match? Sebastian Ryle, nice 5.5 match rating. That is, that, that is horrible. And we still have not had a highlight. And Durante, and that is saved by Jones. Wonder if we can hold the ball now and get some possession and at least oh, a lovely back heel there by Del Piero. Love wreck. Oh, and he beats his man. Passes to Del Piero. Del Piero inside. He hasn't got the pace though. Shoots and it's a tame, tame effort. Not what you would expect from Alessandro Del Piero. <coughs> and I might make a sub now. This game's all, all but gone, so I'm going to bring Del Piero off. And I'm also going to bring Terry McFlynn off for Abbas and Ed's. I feel shots blocked by the wall. It's blocked again. Danny Sanchez, good save, rebound, and it's out for a goal kick. Still 20 minutes to go, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna chuck it onto overload and just pray that something happens. The defense just isn't isn't playing well at all today. I mean, my two centre defenders, one's on a 5.3 match rating and the other's on a 5.8 match rating and that's just unacceptable to be honest I mean Hamilton out wide can we sneak one back? Yes we can that is a brilliant goal Brett Hamilton to Ali Abba substitute and that's 2-1 could we sneak another goal? possibly bring it back Jones plays it short to Hamilton Hamilton's just standing there, plays it long, looking for Lovrec, who gets dispossessed easily, but Durante pumps it long, and oh, straight to Heisigens, and that is a quality goal. We're, we're all but gone now, the game's over, and we're back in 10th position. I think I might have to drop Seb Ryle for the uh, next, next game or two, because he has not performed at all. Uh, I'm far from pleased with that result. That's a horrible result. Uh, at least Wanderers lost as well by the same scoreline. And so they are at home, so makes things a little bit better. Uh, anyway. Um, next fixture. Um, the next fixture I'll be recording will be the Central Coast game, and I'll be recording live comms on every every month, the uh, first game of every month. So I uh, hope you guys uh, tune in for that. And uh, we've got a taste of little derby here uh, in the meanwhile. So hopefully you tune in for the Central Coast Mariners game. Um, I've been auspicious Aussie, and we've had a terrible, terrible result today. But um, I'm looking to bounce back. See you guys.